fasting in Ramadan. Yoshinori Oshumi, a Japanese cell biologist, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his discoveries on how cells recycle their content, a process known as autophagy, a Greek term for self-eating. It is a crucial process. During starvation, cells break down proteins and non-essential components and reuse them for energy. Cells also use autophagy to destroy invading viruses and bacteria, sending them off for recycling. And cells use autophagy to get rid of damaged structures. The process is thought to go awry in cancer, infectious diseases, immunological diseases, and neurodegenerative disorders. Disruptions in autophagy are also thought to play a role in aging. The Japanese scientist has scientifically substantiated that fasting is good for one's health, reports the Komsomolskaya Pravda, Russian newspaper. The Nobel Prize Committee said Osumi's discoveries have led to a new paradigm in our understanding of how a cell processes its contents. His discoveries have opened new ways of understanding the fundamental importance of autophagy for a large number of physiological processes, such as adaptation to starvation and response to an infection. Autophagy is intrinsic to living organisms, including those of human beings. Thanks to autophagy, cells get rid of excess parts while an organism gets rid of unnecessary cells. Autophagy becomes especially intensive when an organism is under stress. For example, when it fasts, in this case a cell produces energy using its internal resources, that is, cellular rubbish, including pathogenic bacteria. The Nobel Prize winner's discovery indicates that abstaining from food and keeping fasts is wholesome. The body truly cleans itself. This is confirmed by the Nobel Prize Committee. According to Osumi's colleagues, autophagy protects organisms from premature senility. This process even probably rejuvenates organisms by creating new cells, removing defective proteins and damaged intracellular organelles from them, thus maintaining them in good condition. Alhamdulillah, scientists discovered the benefits of fasting recently. But how could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known about benefits of fasting. Subhanallah, in the Quran, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that you may learn piety and righteousness. In the Quran, fasting for a limited number of days, so whoever among you is ill or on the journey, then an equal number of days are to be made up and upon those who are able to fast but with hardship, a ransom, a substitute of feeding a poor person each day, and whoever volunteers excess, it is better for him, but to fast is best for you, if you only knew. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. Subscribe our Sense Islam YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video.